morning. Hello, friends. Grab yourself a seat on the mat. Hi, guys. I just needed some lip balm. All right. We're doing some mobility this morning. My fave. And if you're in my 30 day program right now, then you're probably feeling pretty sore. Um, and today is a rest and recovery day, so this is perfect for that. So we're gonna get started in a seated position, cross-legged on your mat. And just sort of let yourself get adjusted, let your spine settle into a nice, neutral position. You don't want to feel like you're hunching over. You want to be nice and upright. Shoulders are down and back. Resting your hands gently on your legs. And we're going to just take a couple of deep breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth. And gently start to roll your head side to side. Coming back into the center, bringing your hands down on either side of your body and just starting to rotate your body around your torso, around the lower half of your body. And switch directions. back onto your knees, bringing your shoulders up to your ears and down. Up to your ears, drop them down. Up, down. And you want to feel like the full gravitational force going down so that you really get into that fully relaxed position. Bringing one hand down on either side, reaching over, come back to center, and the other way. Try to look underneath that arm that you're reaching with. And now we're gonna take it into some spinal twisting. So bringing your arm across to the opposite knee, twist and look over your shoulder. And switching to the other direction. Switching again. Last time here.
bringing your hands together in front of your chest, reaching them up and overhead, folding forwards, dropping your head down. You can let your legs kind of separate from each other, folding as far forward as you can. Walking back up to the top. Switch your legs around now to be the opposite. Stretching up and overhead and folding forward. to the center, straightening your legs out in front of you, using your hands to support you from behind. We're going to point the toes and flex. Point and flex up towards the ceiling. Point down and flex up. Do one pointed, one flexed and switch. Switch, switch. Give some gentle rotations in the ankle. Switching the other way. shake. We're going to switch over now onto our knees. So coming up onto your knees, placing your hands down in front of you on the mat. You want your knees to be about hip distance apart. We're going to just slowly rock forwards and back. Gradually you'll find that you're able to rock further forwards and maybe sit back further. So just let your body kind of warm up to the movement. Coming back up into all fours, taking one leg and rotating that hip. So drawing a big circle with your knee. And switch to the other direction. And onto the other leg now, rotating. to the other direction. Bringing your knees back down onto the mat. Now bringing them a little bit wider. So just slightly wider than hip distance. You're going to now draw a circle with your hips. So rotating around in a circle direction. other direction. My floor is creaking. It sounds like it's my knees, but it's not. And fully sitting back, straightening your arm 
hands out in front. We're going to sit side to side here. So dropping one hip down and then the other. So just gently rocking side to side, pressing that one hip down over to one side. Back up in the center, arms out in front. Bringing your hands over to one side and holding here for a moment. And to the other side. Coming back up onto your knees. So you're going to bring one foot up and you're going to place it right beside your knee. So if you can sit on that knee and then have the other foot up, that's the goal. And we're going to just do a little bit of um, some mobility through the ankle of the foot that you're standing on. So you're gonna just put a little bit of weight into that foot keeping it fully planted on the mat, okay? So don't lift up your heel. And you're gonna just gently lean forwards. So just lean forwards enough that you feel some joint movement through the ankle. But keep that foot planted. We're gonna just gently rock forwards and backwards here. So rocking forwards and back. Make sure you're not popping up that heel. Keep it fully planted on the mat. Last time. And switching. On to the other ankle now. So bringing that foot right beside the knee, your toes are in line with the front of your knee. And we're gonna just gently sit forwards, keep that heel full foot in contact with the ground. You're just gently leaning into that ankle you're probably gonna feel this all through the back. And release. And we're gonna gently rock forwards and back. Keep that foot planted on the ground though. Don't let your heels lift up. back onto your knees. Bringing your arms up into a scarecrow position. So bent at that 90 degree right? Um, elbow. You're going to squeeze them together. Open them up. Squeeze together and open. Squeeze and open. Squeeze together, interlace your fingers, pressing them out and away from you. Rotate those arms all the way around, interlace them again, pressing them out and away from you.
and rotate them all the way around. Coming back onto all fours, we're gonna gently rock forwards and backwards in the wrists. towards you and gently rocking forwards and backwards here. Keep rocking. So the, there's just a quick question about if this will be viewable later. So yes, I save all of the live workouts to IGTV after we're finished and I usually leave them up for 24 to 48 hours. And bring the top of your hands down onto the mat and gently leaning forward and back. Give your wrists a little shake. So we're gonna go out into a frog position. So you're going to spread your knees apart, keeping your shin in line with your knees. So you don't want your feet to be in or out too far. They're basically just in line with the knees. And you're just gonna settle into this, resting your elbows on the mat, and you can gently rock forwards and backwards. Sitting back and holding it right here. Bringing your knees back in towards the center and just sitting back into child's pose. We're gonna come down onto our bums now. Bending your, your legs 90 degrees. We'll just come this way so I'm not flashing everyone. <laughs> so bending your knees 90 degrees, feet are apart wider than hips, and you're just gonna gently rock your knees side to side. Dropping your knees fully to one side, having your foot closer to the other knee this time. So not in a full 90-90 where your leg would be up here, but your foot's a little bit closer, okay? And from here, you're gonna be taking your, your top hand, so one hand is supporting you behind. You're gonna be taking your top arm and reaching it up as we lift our pelvis off of the mat. And lower and reaching up and lower. You should feel this really through the front of that hip and reaching up, holding here, holding it right here, I'm sweating. And lower, coming into a 90 degree and a 90 degree bend now. You're going to reach forwards and sit back, pressing that back hip down, reaching forwards and sit back. Forwards and back. Okay. 
forwards, holding it here. You can even bring your hands or elbows down onto the mat. Coming back up. Windshield wiper your knees over to the other direction. I'm just going to turn around. So remember to start that foot in the front is a little bit closer to your knee. One hand is behind you to support and we're going to lift up and over reaching. So reaching up and over and back down. Pressing this hip up towards the ceiling. You should really feel that stretch through the front. Last time here. Repositioning that front leg into a 90 degree bend. So 90 degrees in the front, 90 in the back. And we're going to reach forwards and press back. And when you sit back, you really want to think about your back hip and butt cheek going in contact with the mat. And try not to let your leg in front pop up. But the sitting back is really about that external rotation of your back knee. And feeling that rotation through the hip. Reaching forwards, dropping down onto elbows if that feels comfortable. standing position on your mat. So standing up towards the back of your mat. Feet are almost together. You're going to reach both arms up overhead and you're going to fold forwards. And give a little bend to your knees here. Rolling up to the top, stretching those arms up overhead again, and folding forwards with a bend in the knee. Walking your hands out to the front of your mat, into a plank. From here, lifting your tailbone up to the ceiling, pedaling out your feet. to downward dog again, slowly lowering to the mat, lifting your chest up. Turn those toes under and the back, pressing back into downward dog and come back into plank. And from here, you're going to bring one of your feet beside your hands. So shoot that leg up so that it's up at the front of your mat beside your hands. And you can lower your knee down in the back. And just lean into a nice deep lunge, bringing your hand on the inside of your knee. You can press open and back. Sitting deeper into that lunge, really leaning forwards.
turning your toe under in the back, lifting up that knee that's in the back, bringing your foot back to meet the other one, stepping forward with the opposite foot, dropping down your knee in the back, just really settling into this lunge, pressing your front leg open and back in. Turning your toes under in the back, lifting that knee up again, and shoot that foot back to the back of your mat. And from here, you're gonna walk your hands back up towards your feet, and just hang out here for a minute. Slowly rolling up to a standing position. And you're gonna now come out into a wide leg stance. So feet are further than hip distance apart. And we're going to bring our arms out to the side and hinge forwards from the waist, keeping your back nice and straight. And fully fold forwards. Get a soft bend in your knees here. Rolling up to the top, arms out to the side again, reaching over and we're going to swoop the arms around and come all the way up and over until you're reaching over again. Swoop those arms around. Same thing the other direction. So reaching over and we're gonna swoop down. Swooping down and around. Last time here. Bringing both arms out to the side, folding forward from the waist again, dropping your hands down onto the mat, bending your legs, and straightening. Bend, and straighten. Bend, and straighten. And rocking side to side in your hips here. And straighten. Rolling up to the top. And we're going to just finish in a split knee child's pose. So coming down onto your knees, spreading them apart, the distance of or the width of your mat, keeping your feet together. And you're just gonna walk your hands out, dropping your forehead down onto the mat. And just take a few deep breaths here. You can slowly sit up 
And that brings us to the end of this morning's mobility session. I know that I definitely needed that. I'm really, really sore. So I know some of you guys are probably too after a tough work or week of workouts. So thank you so much. If you participated today, if you can kindly visit the link in my bio, even if you can donate a dollar, every little bit helps. I'm going to be continuing to promote donations to um, local Black Lives Matter here in Toronto, as well as potentially some other great organizations in our GTA. So thank you guys. I'm glad everybody was able to join me this morning and I will be back next week. But on Saturday tomorrow, there's actually two chances to work out with me. The first is at noon through Move Camp. Dot ca if you head over there you can register for a free zoom workout that will be taking place at 12 o'clock i will be coaching just a small portion of that and if that doesn't work for you then hit up move camp canada their instagram page because i will be leading a 30 minute slow burn class which is all isometric and tempo based exercises and that's happening at 2 p.m tomorrow so 2 to 2 30 so that's on ig live over at move camp canada so hopefully you can join at least the slow burn class with me it'll just be me leading the whole class so hoping some of you can join that as well and then otherwise i'll be back on monday we always kick off the week with midday mobility on mondays at 12 30 so i'll stop talking now have a wonderful morning go grab a coffee or a tea get settled into your work day or taking care of your kiddos. And thank you again so, so much for being here and supporting me. Have a wonderful day, guys.